Hi, I'm Phil Forsyth with the Philadelphia Orchard Project here at Fox Chase Farm in mid-April um, doing some spring maintenance tasks uh, to have a more healthy productive orchard um, and uh, Fox Chase Farm is a uh, farm operated by the School District of Philadelphia that students from across the city come and, and learn here um, and uh, we were out here earlier in the winter with a group from Northeast High School uh, students learning how to prune the fruit tree. So here we're back in the early spring and uh, we've been doing a few tasks, clearing um, growth weeds around the base of the trees. Um, we've, been, we've applied some compost tea and now we're going to apply some neem oil. So um, good spring task to do uh, and uh, there's a few things to know. Any type of spraying you want to do it in the, the early morning, uh, early as possible because um, you're trying to avoid a couple things. One is potentially spraying beneficial insects that might be out in the orchard. Um, also, spraying in the heat of day can cause that, whatever you're spraying, the moisture to evaporate and actually suck moisture out of the tree. So particularly something you want to avoid in the heat of summer. Um, so anyway, neem oil is uh, from the neem tree, which originated in India, uh, now produced in different parts of the world um, and it's really quite an amazing natural organic uh, substance that we can apply to our orchards and gardens. Um, it's got a few different properties. So physical property of, of any, any oil uh, can be used as a dormant spray uh, to smother the overwintering eggs of different pest insects. This time of year uh, we're applying to um, all parts of the tree actually, trunk, branches, leaves. Um, we do want to avoid spraying directly on any open flowers, so that's something to be aware of in the spring. Um, but good timing in this orchard, our uh, stone fruits have stopped blooming already. Apples are not quite ready to bloom, so good timing for this. Um, so uh, for the neem oil, we've got our backpack sprayer here, four gallon sprayer, um, and we're gonna fill it with uh, four gallons of water, and then, um, for each gallon of water, you want to uh, add about a cup, a quarter cup of neem oil. Uh, so in this case, we've got a, a cup and a quarter added here, and uh, and then you also need um, some soap. Some liquid fish soap is great. Uh, brand doesn't really matter. Uh, really, the, the purpose of this is just to keep the oil from separating in the container. So um, the uh, it'll stay mixed and then you'll, you'll get even application. Um, so the purpose of the neem oil on the fruit trees uh, does a few different things. Actually, there's been some research showing that it helps boost the immune system of fruit trees, so helping to some degree resist certain diseases. Um, it also has effects on insects. Uh, so the neem oil itself uh, contains compounds that deter chewing insects, uh, particularly effective on aphids and mites and things like that. Um, but there's also a property of it uh, actually helping to prevent the um, uh, molting or advancing stage of life from uh, certain other insects. Uh